The Roman Catholic Church is taking part in an international campaign to end world hunger. The campaign started with a mass service in each parish in Tonga at 12 midday today. The congregations were called to hold intercessory prayers on the theme. A mass service was held at the Roman Catholic Church at St. Antonio Padua and led by the Archbishop Soane Petita Baini Mafi. Sin Latu was there and filed this report. The Roman Catholic Church joined other Catholic churches around the world in an intercessory prayer to open the Global Anti-Poverty Campaign. The intercessory prayer starts in Tonga, followed by other countries throughout the world. In a mass service led by the Archbishop of the Roman Catholic Church of the Diocese of Tonga and Niue Soane Patita Painimafi, he recalled an event where he saw a person go hungry in Tonga. I will never forget an incident that happened. It was after church where I went to Totaimana to check my emails. As I was sitting in my office, I heard someone sobbing, sounded like a woman and a child. I walked out to find the exact thing. There was a woman and her child huddling in the corner of the bathroom of my office. They were hungry and were chased away by the woman's husband from their house. These things are happening already in Tonga. I believe there is adequate food on the island, but the purpose of this campaign is to alleviate poverty and hunger. We see on television of hungry people, flies standing on the faces of children. What I want to bring to your attention today is to pray for these people. He also urged the church members to help others in terms of giving food to the hungry. During the mass service, a church member voiced a message from the president of the Caritas International, Cardinal Roderick Maridianga. Try and stop wasting food. Instead, collect as much food as you can and give it to the less fortunate and those who are hungry. Teach your people to eat just enough food for their good health. Make use of the land allotments. Plant crops and sell them in the market, and also plant crops that will withstand the impacts of climate change. In an interview with the program coordinator of Caritas Tonga, Amelia Maafu, she says that the campaign will end in 2015. The church members are also collecting food crops and other items to the Caritas Tonga to divide and distribute amongst less fortunate people and those in need of such help around Tonga. For Television Tonga News, I'm Sinilato.